Hello, you're welcome to Neat Drinks Millionaire's Club. I want to welcome our new subscribers and also appreciate you, our old subscribers. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to make this hairband. By that, I mean how to wrap this hairband to any color of your choice. So normally when you make a hairpiece and you want to attach it to a hairband, the ideal color of hairband would, would usually be the exact same color of the hairpiece. But sometimes if you go shopping for hairband, you might not find the exact same color that will match your hairpiece. So the next best color that you can choose is usually black. Because black hairband, no matter the color of fascinator that you attach it to, by the time you wear it on your head, because our hair color is usually black, the hairband can hide in the hair and nobody might notice but the only thing is if you combine black hairband to a very contrasting color say like cream or yellow on its own without it being worn on the head it can appear as tacky and it doesn't show good craftsmanship so it's always best to match your fascinator headpiece with the same color as a hairband the same goes with a fabric hairband for instance i have this fabric hairband here this is a ruffle fascinator the fabric that this was made of is the same material that was used to wrap the hairband you can't imagine using a black hairband to attach this gold fabric it, the contrast would be so much so it's always good to use the same fabric to wrap the hairband so you can see why it has become important for you as a millionaire to be able to control things like this once you can wrap your hairband to the particular color of your hairpiece it will make your work look seamless and you can command a higher commercial value to your works. So because of this, I decided to help you, my fellow millionaires, to put together this step-by-step -step training on how to change the color of your hairband, wrapping it to whatever desired color of your choice. And this time around, we're going to be making use of stretchy fabrics. So stretchy fabrics are usually the best or the easiest kind of fabric that you can use to start your way up to wrapping hairbands then subsequently with time you will still get to learn how to wrap your hairbands with non-stretch fabrics so follow me as i show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to go about this and if you have not subscribed to this channel i encourage you to subscribe and if you find this video useful do give us a thumbs up to encourage us and share to as many people that might benefit from this training stay blessed and happy crafting these are the tools and materials we need this is shiny velvet ribbon, measuring tape, scissors, uhu gum. These are paper clips. If you don't have this, you can make use of regular pegs. And then this, of course, is the hairband that we'll be wrapping. And this is the fabric we want to use to wrap it. We'll measure the length of the hairband, which is it's about 15 and a half inches long. This is 15, one quarter. Let's just call this 15 and a half. And then the width. That is the widest part of the hairband is one and a half inches. So we're going to cut this out on the fabric. Before we cut it, we just add two inches to the length. So instead of 15 and a half, we get 17 and a half. And then we'll multiply the width of this by two. So we'll cut out three inches, which is two, twice the width of this hairband. So take note, this piece is a stretchy fabric and the stretchy part of the fabric is on this side so you have to make sure that the length of your fabric is stretchy because this is the part we're going to use to wrap on the hairband okay so make sure that this is stretchy even if this other part is not stretchy it doesn't matter so long as this part is stretchy well okay so this kind of fabric is called commercially known as um, stretchy raw silk or sometimes um, stretchy taffeta thing so now we're going to measure out the fabric I have a tailor's chalk. 15 and a half inches plus two inches will give us 17 and a half. So this is 17 and a half inches here. And then the width, the width should be three inches. So what we're going to be using to cover up our hairband. So apply Uhu gum to say about half an inch from the beginning, which is inside this area. Then we'll, we'll just cover this up by half an inch. We'll use the peg to hold this down while it dries. And then we'll just follow this along the length and we'll do the same thing here. So 
we have excess fabric here what we just simply need to fold over is to, is just half inch you might say that you know i had already added one inch to it it's always good to have excess materials so apply a half an inch here and then you fold this over you can always stretch your fabrics i always like to stretch so stretch it so even though we stretch it we're still going to end up getting excess so i want to cut off any excess we just need half an inch above where the hairband stops so i'm cutting off the excess because when you stretch it helps your your wrapping to be seamless so i've stretched it as much as i can and now I've folded it over and i'll just use this to hold this down okay use this so starting from the place that has already dried we'll open this up and then you put this right at the back you put it this way so you can see that this is the back this is the front so you put it this way and then you hold on to it again while you do that place your hairband at the center of your strip now you can notice that this hairband is slimmer on this side so we need to fold this over here and to fold this one over so the folding suggests that this material is now excess is more than we just need half we just need half of this length of this height rather we just need this half for this to fold over we don't need any excess shooting to the other side just imagine if you divide this hairband into two we just need half of the half of this to come from this fabric and then the other half of this to come from this fabric so we're just going to trim this and the trimming is going to be in a slanted position in a slanted angle we're not trimming to the top because this already is half of this while this is also half of this so we need this other part to fold over and and kiss each other just like this one is doing so that's why we're trimming the both sides so you have to be careful so that you don't over trim them so however i've trimmed this area i'm going to trim the same thing on this so it should be an equal fold and i'll do the same process here can take this out should have dried so we're fr starting from where we have this we're going to apply the who gum at right at the center of the hairband at the center and you stop it just about half an inch to where the hairband stops you don't you don't stop it all the way to the end just leave about half an inch and then you fold this over so when you fold the material is going to lay over the gum it's going to fold over the gum So while you're doing this you have to be very careful because it can actually get a bit messy because of the gum that might stick on your fingers so you have to be careful when you have gum on your fingers you just simply rub your finger like, fingers like so to get off any excess gum because if it remains stuck on your fingers those same fingers will still be used to to work on the hairband and you might end up staining your hairband as a final result so to get rid of any gum that sticks to your fingers while you're working okay so i'm done with this once you fold over the first you have to apply uhu gum again and fold over the second side So the uhu gum you're going to be applying it on the fabric that you have laid over 
and you're also still going to stop your uhu gum right at the same you don't stop it at the end you stop it just about half an inch to the end that's where you stop the hook the uhu gum so you fold this over the same method So if you notice, um, just as I said, by the time you're trimming your fabric, you have to make sure that the fabric is, is going to still be able to lap over on top of the, the glue. So don't trim it too much. Don't trim it too much because if you trim it too much, you have to be mindful of where you're applying the glue. Just make sure that by the time you fold over your fabric, it's going to latch on the glue okay so where you apply the glue matters and how you trim your fabric matters a lot because they both have to be over they have to touch each other or they have to at, attach to each other <laughs> you know i'm speaking the right english <laughs> okay so now we're done with this you uh, see you have layered it neatly okay so the next thing we're going to do is this is now going to be our final our final so you can apply you can apply the glue here because of any excess you apply the glue here and cover this up cover this up neatly and now the final touch is to use this and cover up all that so we'll you apply your glue here on the final torch so we've we've actually applied three layers of glue already that's quite a lot of glue So once you get to this part, we're going to apply just on this, just on this part, and we'll also apply on this part. Okay, you notice that there is no glue under here. We only have the glue here, and we also have the glue. We'll use this to cover this part, and we also have the glue on top of this place. So it might be a little messy to work on this area, but I hope you get the drift. So I don't want to touch this area that the glue is. I'm just trying to fold this over, although it might be difficult. So let me just leave it that way. First of all, I would, um, I'll just work on this area. So I'll close this up, apply glue here so that the shiny ribbon can lay comfortably over it. So I would put this on top of this. Okay, and then I'm just going to hold this over the uhu gum. And see how gently I'm using one finger to press this down while I'm using the other one. I'm using one finger to apply the ribbon while I'm using the other one, which is this, to press it down. So you have to actually do it this way. You don't have to run so fast. You want use one to press it down, then you use one to apply it sorry then you use the other one to press it down so use one to apply it on the glue and use the other one to apply pressure just that way just that way okay so here this is the part where I apply glue here and I also apply glue on the other side which is on this side so if I use my hand to press this down I'm going to touch the glue so I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to use this ribbon, touch it on the glue, and then I'll fold this this way and press it down. Do you see what I did? Press it down. Okay, now that I'm done with that, I can now cut off, I leave like half inch and cut off the excess. So most likely, we still have, uh, you know, it's showing me that the glue hasn't really latched on. So I'll apply more glue to this area. 
So you notice I'm actually avoiding putting glue inside this part. There's a reason for that. So I'm just going to close this down again. So the inside part I'm talking about is there's going to be this hole here. There's a space here. This is the space where we're going to tuck in this leftover ribbon. So if you eventually end up mistakenly applying glue while you're walking, it doesn't matter. Just use your scissors or a sharp object and try to open up this area, open it up as much as you can. And then you take this and tuck it in there. So for me to tuck it in, I'm going to cut it a little bit to have a, a pointed tip. So I'll just cut it up a little bit so it won't be difficult for it to enter. So here we have that. The next thing I'm just going to fold this over and tuck it in here. Okay. So once I tuck it in, the next thing is to apply my glue. Apply my glue right here. And our work is done. So then I'll use this and hold on to it. I'll hold on to it this way. Okay, so I'm just going to work on the remaining parts, making sure that everything folds over. And you can just see how beautifully wrapped our hairband is. Let's see how beautifully wrapped it is. Just look at that. Almost like we just got a gold hairband. So one good thing I forgot to mention about this ribbon is that it gives your hairband a very good grip. So once your, your, your client wears it, because of how um, rough the texture is, it helps the hairband to sit tightly on the head without shifting. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you're going to be trying it out. And like I said, this is done with stretchy material. You can always get them in different colors to match your fascinators. Don't limit yourself to black. Black is boring. So try this out and thank me once the money starts rolling in. <laughs>